many certified letters of testamentary should you order as the executor of an estate? Being appointed as the executor of a loved one's estate is a challenging task. The circumstances can be unpredictable and the emotions can run high. Despite the conditions, the executor's primary responsibility is to ensure the deceased will is carried out per their wishes. Hi, my name is Stacy Moss and I am one of the attorneys with the Law Office of Brian Fagan. Today's video will discuss the key responsibilities of an executor and provide tips to help make the process as smooth as possible. Let's begin with an overview of all of the responsibilities. After being appointed executor of a loved one's estate, you must collect and organize all assets, including tangible items listed in the inventory, such as vehicles, personal property, cash, safety deposit boxes, and real property titles. Organizing property at an early stage will be helpful for you in court when it comes time to start dividing up property. Next, you need to determine the beneficiaries and notify them of their inheritance under the will. You must contact creditors to whom your loved ones owe money. The creditors have a right to notify the court of their existence and collect the money under the estate. The probate court will help you determine the priority of creditors in claiming assets or property. Usually, secured creditors get priority over unsecured creditors. Finally, once all debts and expenses have been paid, beneficiaries can receive the property promised to them under the will. Within a month of being named as the executor, you will need to publish a notice to creditors in the newspaper in the county where the will is being probated. The notice must include the date you were qualified as the executor, the address where claims can be presented, and instructions on how to address each claim. After the court approves the will for probate, it must appoint an independent executor within 20 days. If chosen as the independent executor, you must file an oath in court before notary. As discussed, the oath will confirm your promise to fulfill your legal obligations under Texas law. Next, you need to obtain a letters testamentary. It's a legal document issued by the probate court to the executor of a will, granting them the authority to act on behalf of the estate. When you become the executor of your loved one's estate, you can obtain letters of testamentary from the probate clerk within 60 days. Financial institutions and real estate professionals will likely request them. Therefore, keeping copies of the letters testamentary and certified copies of the will is advisable. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. Please let us know how we can start helping you with all of your legal matters today. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both helpful and informative for you. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. So please let us know how we can help you with your family law, estate planning, or criminal defense matters by calling our office today at 281-310-5563 to schedule your complimentary consultation. You can find all of our social media info in the description below. And if you would like to stay updated on all of our videos, events, and promotions, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the notification bell.